Closed captioning for the Let's Dine Out show provided by Holiday Cafe, your neighborhood diner with two locations in Ontario and Mr. D's Diner in Laverne. Ready to satisfy your hunger and budget? Let's Dine Out is made possible by support from Food for Life Baking Company, makers of over 60 organic, all-natural sprouted baked goods, as well as gluten-free and vegan products. Food for Life Baking Company, dedicated to better health since 1964. Foodforlife.com. Sanborn's Air Conditioning and Heating, providing installation, maintenance, and repair of heating and air conditioning systems for home and businesses throughout the Inland Empire. Sanborn's Air Conditioning and Heating, five-star comfort for four generations. Sanbornsac.com. And viewers like you, supporting local public television. Thank you. I'm food critic Alan Borgen, member of the Southern California Restaurant Riders. I've been finding the best restaurants in the Inland Empire and Southern California for over 27 years. This is my job. This is my passion. Let's dine out. Hi, I'm food critic Alan Borgen. And I'm Trisha Jansen. Welcome to another delicious edition of the Let's Dine Out show, where we show you some of the best local restaurants in Southern California. How are you doing, Alan? Doing okay. I've been, you know, exercising uh, three times a week, and uh, it's tough, but I'm getting there. Well, stick with it, then you can eat more. Oh, really? Yes. Cool. That's, that's the name of it. That's all it's all about. Well, speaking of eating, what's on the menu today? First, we're off to Rancho Cucamonga for some regional Mexican dishes at a new and unique restaurant called Fonda Don Chon. Then we'll travel down the 10 freeway to Laverne for some must-try barbecue at Darnell's Barbecue inside the corner butcher shop. Located in a large, freestanding hacienda-like structure on Foothill Boulevard in Rancho Cucamonga is Fonda Don Chan a truly unique Mexican restaurant, which serves Jalisco-inspired family dishes from the surrounding states of Mexico. As you enter, you are greeted by a tortilla grill, an interior decked out with brightly colored walls with six rooms in total, each named after a Mexican state. Under the leadership and owner, Chef Don Chan and Jimmy Roman, this one-of-a-kind restaurant is an exciting, welcomed addition to the IE dining scene. We finally made it here to Ranch Cucamonga. Not too much traffic, but uh, I'll tell you, this is an incredible restaurant. When you drive by it, it's like huge. Beautiful. And then you walk inside and it's even bigger. Absolutely. Very, very unusual. So let's start with the first dish. And you can do that one. Chones Breakfast Comel, $9.99. This was a hot metal plate with potatoes and chorizo and uh, green bell peppers and onions. And they tossed the potatoes in a ranchero sauce. So. You know, this was delicious. First of all, it comes out steaming and it's beautiful. And I loved the chorizo, how it was not greasy. You know, sometimes it's so super greasy, but this, the flavor of that, that kind of salty, savory chorizo with that melted egg yolk over it and the yummy potato. Yeah, it came with two eggs, your choice of eggs. Yep, two eggs. Gotta have it over easy. For sure get it over easy, because you cut into it and it kind of goos everywhere. You know, I really like this. Again, I'm not a huge chorizo fan, but I loved it. It was it was very lean mm -hmm. chorizo, and just the, the saltiness of the chorizo just worked so well with the egg yolk. It I really loved did. It. Yeah. For, 10, for ten bucks, it's a oh. pretty amazing deal. Next came a Whopper dish. This is called the 777 Combination Dinner, $17.99. Wow. Yeah. This is a massive combination plate with carne asada, half a hard shell shredded beef taco, a sope, cheese enchilada, chili relleno, rice beans, and freshly made corn, uh, yeah, corn tortillas. Corn tortillas. Everything on a plate had a distinct flavor, yeah. but they're all different. It wasn't just thrown together. A lot of thought was, was put into this dish. I agree. Sometimes with combinations, they tend to just blend into one another. In this one, you could see each distinct uh, item, and I really liked it. I, um, I thought that the corn tortillas were really special. I want to mention that he has them house-made, but also they add something called masca to the corn tortillas, and it's, uh, it's a it has more of a um, grainy texture to it, so they, they're, they're kind of... I almost say fatter. Is that our word? <laughs> Look at me and say they're fatter. They're a little yeah. chubby. <laughs> yeah, they're just, they have a nice texture to them. They're very, uh, they're very texturally delicious. That's a good texture. Yeah, they yeah. really do. So that's, uh, that's, I like that about them. 
Next, we had Chili's Chicken Plate, $10.99. This was a 10 ounce portion of chicken, so huge. It was served uh, with a sweet honey chipotle sauce and topped with pineapple and it had this fruit salad on the side that was like amazing. It was uh, mangoes and apples and uh, red onions Cantaloupe. with walnuts and cantaloupe in it. And then it served with a baked potato and it had a salad underneath the fruit as well. This was delicious. I absolutely loved it. The flavor on the chicken was amazing. It was delicious. It was a very tropical dish and the flavors were very bright. So I, I think it's, it felt healthy. I felt skinnier eating it. <laughs> I love this. I would highly recommend this plate. Very good. Yeah. And next we had arachara. arachara. Uh, you gotta do the uh. arachara. arachara. Perfect. $17.99. This is nine ounces of marinated skirt steak for 10 days. I mean, this is a lot of love put into this steak. <laughs> It's also, they cut their meat in-house, and it's the interior portion of the flank it's, steak. Yeah, it's the inside. Yeah, so uh, it's a very uh, high-quality uh, cut of meat. Then they flame broil this, and it is, I can't even describe the flavors. It had such an intense, rich, meaty flavor to it. I thought it was excellent. The, the, the pot salad, the cold, along with the meat, really went together. Everything was pieced together. That's one thing about these dishes that I've noticed is, it's not just thrown on a plate. A lot of Mexican agree. restaurants, they just plop it on and you know they don't care. There's a lot, a lot of thought given to all the, not only the recipes, but also the presentations. Next came the Supreme Motejete. This is $19.99. Now we had, what you see on the, on the um, screen here, is $24.99. Right. It's for two people. Actually, you could feed more. This is gigantic. This is a volcanic stone Motejete filled with charbroiled chicken, steak, shrimp, Nopal, which is cactus, mm -hmm. cilantro, green onion, and a delicious tomatillo sauce topped with melted Oaxaca cheese. All I have here is sensational. Oh. Just watching the bubbling as we're filming, yeah. we're looking at it, it just bubbles and bubbles, and I feel like brew with a kettle that, you know, like a witch, you know, <laughs> but the flavors, the smells were amazing, and this is just one heck of a dish. This dish, the presentation alone was so impressive. This was amazing. Um, the flavors in this were so complex. The broth in it, when it mixed with the cheese, it almost, you could eat it like a soup afterwards. Well, I first went on with, it came with two, I think two or three blocks of the cheese. Two big ones. And I thought, shouldn't this be melted? But when it melts inside it the sauce, so it becomes, you know, yes. it works together, homogenizes together, yep. and it's delicious. Yeah, and the avocado again, the cheese and the avocado help balance out the heat. There is an intense heat to the sauce. It, it kind of, it has an evolution and it does hit you, but the cheese and the avocado help counterbalance really that flavor. And the meats were very tender. We didn't really talk about how tender the, the, the three proteins that were in there, the, the, meat, the, the chicken, the steak, the and succulent, yeah. succulent, sweet. Perfectly cooked. This is the one meal if you come here, you have to get. Now, this is a must dish. Must, must, must get. Next, we had the spinach enchiladas, $9.99. Three of those beautiful chubby corn tortillas <laughs> filled with spinach and a mixture of uh, uh, cheese and queso crema with the Oaxaca cheese. These were great. They reminded me of what I would think of a, a spinach crepe, if you will, uh, with that cheesy sauce uh, on top and then some more melted sauce, uh, melted cheese and sour cream, the crema. Delicious. It was real creamy it and was. rich. It's a really beautiful It's a beautiful sauce. dish. They use fresh spinach, which I don't know if I mentioned. Um, the only thing I would say about that is I would probably blend the spinach a little bit more. Spinach can be stringy, uh, sometimes di difficult to manage, so I would probably blend the spinach up a little bit more. But when's the last time you saw fresh spinach? Well, you don't, and that's the thing. And the flavors were very bright. They really were. Right. They were very fresh and bright. Um, and how can you go wrong with cheese sauce? I mean, throw cheese sauce on anything, it'd be fantastic. Uh, so a lot of cheese is <laughs> That's here. a winner. Next came the M. Papalato. <laughs> Jimmy the owner told me to say it that way. Uh, $24.99. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. This is two large uh, filet of sole filets that were stuffed with octopus, scallops, shrimp, Mexican style abalone, which is really calamari, onions, bell peppers. It's baked in tin foil in a chardonnay, chardonnay mushroom sauce. Comes to your table, they open it up nice yeah. and slowly, and all of a sudden you see first the, 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 the aromas, aromas overtake your senses, and then you see the smoke coming out. And it opens up in a beautiful presentation. It's got colors. It's got all the different flavors of the sea. It had a little hotness to this. All their dishes have a very slight kick to it. Yeah. I got to warn you with it. But again, this is the type of dish that you want to 
come and enjoy. This is easy enough for two people. I would say even three, three people. Three, for sure. I agree. This was a beautiful dish. Um, healthy is the, the one thing that I was waiting for you to say since you're trying to be healthier. Well, we just ate 14 other dishes before this, so no, it is. It's very It's a very light. healthy. It's, it's, you know, it's all this fresh seafood that's so delicious and um, it, it very basic. And the sauces are a little spicy, but they're very, everything's balanced here. You know, if there is a little bit of a kick to it, it has either the corn tortillas help, the avocado. There's always something that helps kind of counterbalance that. Well, the Chardonnay, along with the natural yes. juices of the fish and all the seafood, really, it's almost like a great seafood broth. It really is. And, I, and again, I love the kind of the culinary tastes that you get in there. You get all those flavors and all those different uh, senses. I loved so it. Good. It was beautiful. Then there was dessert. Yes. Take it away. Well, this, you know, I was excited about this because I love flan. And this was amazing. This was called the Choco Flan, $6.99. It's a homemade flan and chocolate cake combined, stacked together. And what happens is with the flan, the juices seep into that chocolate cake. So when they plate it, it's this ooey, gooey, super moist, fudgy love. I mean, it's the gooeyest, yummiest chocolate cake ever with the beautiful creaminess of the flan, and they serve it with a candied, I believe it's walnuts, yeah, candied walnuts with whipped cream and a strawberry on top. This was amazing. I don't even have words. It took my breath well, away. Well, I wanted to thank you for bringing me a half a spoonful of it. I don't think you I got really any. Appreciate Did you it. taste it? No, I tasted part of the whipped cream. So I wanted to thank you. I mean, you were busy. <laughs> I was like, no. Yeah. It, it was so good. And in fact, everybody that was standing around us when we were uh, plating it was like, what is that? What is that? How is that so moist? And it's the, it's the sauce that, right. that it's, it's ingenious. You must get this dessert. You must get it. It's that good. Speaking of genius, speaking of great items, what were some of your favorites? Well, for sure, the choco flan. I mean, if I didn't get more excited about that, I don't know what. I have to say that the supreme hate. Yeah. That Close was up. just the flavors in that were just so complex. And I loved it in the presentation. And I have to say the chile's chicken plate. I love the chicken. I love the sweetness of the marinade in the chicken. The honey, the honey. The honey and the fruit. It just, it complemented it so perfectly. Fruitella, yeah. yeah. So those would be my three. Mine were the chili's chicken plate. Again, I love okay. the chipotle honey flavor. Yeah. The chicken was very, very so moist. So tender. And it was a nice portion to Yo, it. Huge. And again, 10 dollars oh. it, was, it was ridiculous. Yeah. The second one is the Supreme Motojete. I really enjoy that. I mean, the combination of all the food, the flavors, the textures, can't beat it. Yeah. I also like the mmm, papaleno, <laughs> the fish, <laughs> the steamed fish, whatever. It was wonderful. Yeah, it was, uh, the presentation was beautiful and everything. The flavors were very well balanced. And it's very hard to find a Mexican restaurant that, that can really balance the, those flavors like this yeah. one does. This is, this, is a, this is a great find. Good job, Alan. Well, thank you. <laughs> Plus the service. I mean, when you combine the service, yeah. the quality of food, and the prices, it's one heck of a restaurant. Yeah. And uh, this is a restaurant that is really is going to challenge us being one of the best in the Inland Empire. Easily. I agree. Yeah, so. This place is a winner for sure. Well, speaking of winner, we're off to Laverne for some great barbecue at the Corner Butcher Shop. Stay tuned. <laughs> Open seven years, the Corner Butcher Shop in Laverne is a neighborhood family butcher shop bringing back old-fashioned customer service and value reminiscent of the small butcher shops that once flourished. The store offers a nice assortment of fresh quality meats, handmade sausages, miscellaneous proteins, gourmet food items, and a nice selection of California wines. If you enjoy barbecue meats, they also serve a variety of delicious lunch and dinner items at Darnell's Barbecue inside the store where you can dine in or take out. Most everything is made from scratch and smoked on the premises. And with brothers John and Will Fueling and Ricky Rossman overseeing the restaurant, you can be assured that you're in for a real treat when you shop or dine here. Well, Tricia, we're here in Laverne, and uh, this is a great little community, a lot of great restaurants. Now, this restaurant is very popular, and during the weekend, they got slammed. So, unfortunately, they ran out of a few items like yeah. their brisket, and especially their smoked pulled pork. Absolutely delicious, but uh, you'll have to come back again and try it. For sure. It's a sign of a good restaurant to run out of their best things. Well, between the restaurant and just people coming in for the meats and everything else, yeah. it's, uh, it's a happening place here. So, yeah. 
but there was a lot of food they did have, so let's get right into Absolutely. it. Absolutely. First was their hot dog, now $6. Now this isn't just any other hot dog. This is very, very different. It's about 85% prime Angus beef trimmings, 15% pork Angus uh, trimmings, and three and a half, it's about three and a half dogs to a pound. So yeah. it's substantial. It's, it's what's nice is they make it here on the premises. It's dense. It's got the, I believe the sheepskin um, um, snap uh, casing, which I love. It's smoked on the premises. You get a cup of, uh, of a side. We got a coleslaw and um, just fantastic. I love the hot dog. To me, it's one of the best ones. It should be called a steak dog more than a hot dog. I agree. This is, you'd be hard pressed to find a better hot dog. I think the flavors were just so exceptional. Um, and I love this, the parts is parts. We're not in it. It's prime cuts of meat in there. Farmer John should come here. <laughs> I agree. That's all I'm saying. I, so. For sure, the best hot dog I, I think really I've ever is. had. Yeah, for sure. Next, we have the combo plate, $17.95. We did the half a rack of baby back ribs and two sausages. Um, first, on the ribs, they, they dry rub them and they smoke them uh, for about four hours. They were super tender and great smoky flavor. Then on the sausage, we did a linguisa and then a, uh, a pork bratwurst onion. And the flavors on both of those were so good. You can really tell the difference when a sausage is made in-house versus a commercially prepared sausage. The flavors were delicious. This also can come with one large side or two small, and we decided to do the chicken salad, mm. um, which was delicious. It had craisins in it, golden raisins, celery, and bacon. Very good in a, in a mayonnaise-type sauce. And then we did a mac salad, and it was your traditional mac salad, you know, mayonnaise-based mac salad, very good. And it came with cornbread and this butter. I have to talk about this butter. It's a honey butter, but it had cinnamon in it, which is a little bit more That's unique so and uh, kind of like frosting on a cupcake, if you will. So that to me was, that made me so really that's why excited. You were it. Yeah, I was like, kept licking it. So get extra of that honey butter. It's so good. Now they smoke everything here, again, on the premises. They use red oak wood, so it gives a nice little flavor. It's consistent. Yeah. And they use pecans sometimes too. Um, I love the ribs. Everything was smoky, which is great. Yes. They make their own barbecue sauce, so it was sweet, a little tangy. And the smoked chicken salad is the best. It really that is. That smokiness, that bacon, the craisins, everything just comes together. And I love their smoked products here. I agree. I mean, that chicken salad is something you could come and take it to go and make sandwiches at home with it, oh, put it on a bed of lettuce. I mean, it's so good. Next was a burger. Now, this isn't just any burger. No. This is an egg, bacon, cheeseburger loaded. <laughs> it was eleven ninety five. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is prime chuck. It's a half pound mm -hmm. prime chuck burger. It's on a nice roll with mayo, ketchup, lettuce, tomato, crisp pickles, yum yum, onions, over it, then the burger with great smoke, house smoked bacon, yes. a piece of cheese, I think it was American cheese, and then they had over easy egg on top. Absolutely oh. wonderful. Juicy, yes. flavorful, yes. had all the elements of one fantastic gourmet burger. I have to say, when I took a bite of that burger, Instantly, I my mouth just went, hello. That was the best burger, really, that I think I've ever had. The flavor of the meat, you can tell the quality of the meat is just unlike any burger you've ever had. You know, prime chuck, prime anything is yeah. the best of the best. And then they smoke it, right? right. So there's that smoky flavor. I, I can't even describe how great. And then the bacon, it's such a thick cut bacon. This was incredible. I mean, this burger, seriously, come and get the burger. It's that good. good, yeah. It's worth the drive, mm -hmm. for sure. Next, we have the barbecue chicken salad, $9.95. Now, I suggested to add bacon, so it's $1.50 if you want to add bacon. I highly suggest you do that. This was a beautiful bed of just mixed greens. It had uh, sliced, beautiful barbecue chicken breast on top, plenty, uh, a lot. You know, I didn't ask exactly how many ounces, but it would say about a chicken breast worth. It was quite a bit. Yeah, and then um, cucumbers, carrots, tomato, corn, kidney beans. Uh, with a ranch dressing, and I drizzled the barbecue sauce on it with the ranch dressing, which was really good. At first, I thought, oh no, she's going to spoil that? <laughs> but it was really good. It was good. good. I love this salad. Um, again, I added the bacon. I would highly suggest you add that. I felt like it needed some cheese, because that's sort of my favorite. Ah. Oh, please. I think it did. I think cheese would have added another level of yumminess to it. Is that a word? Yumminess? Um, so that would be my only suggestion. I also think the chicken, it's big, so maybe cutting it up in smaller pieces would be a little bit more manageable, but the salad had great flavor. The well, chicken is just tender. And the chicken smoked like all yes. the other meats here. I like to see a little more crunch to it, whether yeah. it's nuts or yeah. noodles or something. I think a nut would be great, you something know, like a, a 
a candied walnut or some, some sort of nut on it would be great. Anything, so it's from the like Crunch. Yeah, right. I loved it though. I highly suggest it. Then we had a pastrami sandwich. This was eight dollars fifty cents. Delicious pastrami. Now yeah. it's about eight ounces. Now they basically brine it and yep. then they smoke it yep. themselves. So it's everything's done again on the premises here. Yeah. It was lean. It was tender. It was juicy. A little peppery. You get one side with that. We had potato salad, which is nice and uh, creamy and big chunks of potato. And mm -hmm. if you like pastrami, this is real pastrami. This isn't like the hat or some of these other places that they say they're pastrami, but it's all gristle and fat. This is real pastrami. Again, I'm not a huge pastrami person, and there is some fat on the pastrami, but you, need the, it. you do. The flavor of that pastrami, I, seriously, I went in for like four bites. It had the best taste to me, smoky, uh, lean, but tender. I cannot say enough about that nice pastrami. Nice crispy roll. It yeah, good. it was great. I mean, I would come back for that in, in a minute. You're so coming good. back for everything, it looks like. I know. Jeez, I gained 10 pounds being here. <laughs> Uh, the next thing we had was the barbecue chicken plate, 10.95. It's about one and a half pounds. It's a half a chicken, just uh, sm dry rub, smoked for four hours, uh, loved and, you know, whatever they do to it. I'm, ancient secrets that they won't tell us, but <laughs> whatever they do, it works. Uh, it, this also came with cornbread with that honey butter. And then you can, again, get one large or two sides. This was just uh, smoky, tender chicken. Uh, you know, what can, what can I say? Great barbecue chicken. All right. We had coleslaw, and it was so good we had to order another one. Yeah, we ordered more the coleslaw. Only, they also have beans here, but it, what they ran out on one of those things they ran out of. Yeah. But their beans are very, very good here. And, um, again, this is a restaurant that they'll do most anything for you. Sure. And if they can do it, they will. Absolutely. So that's very important. Also, with the burger, I want to mention there were some chips that were, it was, I think it was like a, a, a Bloody Mary chips, I think it was the style. It had some spice to it, very different than any other. They were, chip they I were zip, zippy chips. Uh -huh. um, I did talk to the owner about. I said, "You need to have mac and cheese," and he said, "We do." So they oh, didn't they have okay. it tonight, but they do carry mac and cheese, and that's something that I look for. And I think a, a company, you know, is a good accompaniment to the type of food that we had. So, right. hopefully, you come on a night that they have mac and Plus, cheese. This is all comfort food. It is. Oh, it's like I was missing the mac and cheese. Speaking of which. Yeah. Steaks. Now you can buy a steak here, Correct. and they'll grill it. Yes. Now you have a choice of a New York, mm -hmm. a ribeye, or a fillet. It comes with great seasonal vegetables: broccoli, zucchini, red bell peppers. Yep. Garden salad comes with a corn muffin or garlic bread. It's thirty-four ninety-nine. Great, great juicy steak. Again, you're getting prime steak. Yes. Kind of like going to Fleming's. It was very, <laughs> you know, very uh, delicious, very outstanding. Now again, this is a very casual restaurant. If you yes. look around, yep. you know, wooden tables, there's what, four or five, nothing fancy. And that's what makes this restaurant so neat. You feel like you're eating at home. And this is John and Will's home, basically. Yeah, I agree. The steak was uh, perfectly cooked. And I think with everything that we tried today, the theme is that the meats and the quality of the meats are so exceptional that everything was off the chart. I mean, it was simple food, but the, the quality made it just, elevated it to right. a new level. Now, they also have a freezer department where they have things like frog legs. Yeah. I Ooh. think they have elk. I'm so glad you didn't make us eat that today, oh, Alan. It's like chicken, it's that good. One Tastes day we'll like get chicken. that. But they have all kinds of game here, venison and buffalo and yeah. ostrich and, and all fish, that stuff. they do have fish. Yeah, they have all kinds of stuff yeah. here. So it's not just, and again, it's a high-end butcher shop, but you're paying for quality. It's not your cheap butcher with fat and gristle and crap. This is really, most everything here is prime. Yeah, if you're if you're going to entertain and you want the best quality, you come here, you get it, you take it home, and you grill it if and you don't want to eat here. And you, you know? talk about entertaining for catering. Oh, yeah. Our radio station, we've used them so many times for their hot dogs, their beans, and everything has been tremendous. People have been nuts over there. Yeah, I can Now, imagine. they also make chili. It's not all the time here, right. but when they do do it, I mean, call ahead. It's delicious. Yeah, I think they do so. a lot of seasonal items that aren't always here, so I think you could... But that's nice yeah, because it is. you get surprised. I mean, if you have the same thing every day... Right, you come in and you get surprised. They have something new and fabulous to try. All right. Now, in terms of your favorite items? <sighs> Definitely that, that egg, bacon, and cheese uh, burger. I, seriously, I mean, I, I one bite I was like, oh my gosh, that was so good. Best burger I've ever had. I would have to say the barbecue chicken salad, I really like the flavors of it. And the chicken, the smoky chicken, you can't go wrong. And I'm going to say the hot dog, surprisingly. It's just, you'd be hard pressed to find a better hot dog. Oh, this is by far Yeah, the best. I mean, just a simple, we had mustard, relish, and onion on it. I mean, how more simple can you get? And it was perfect. Exactly. I pretty much agree. The hot okay, dog. You're a copycat. Um, <laughs> the barbecue chicken salad was amazing. It really was. The, the small chunks of the chicken and everything. Yeah. Um, the combo plate. You can't get better than the ribs and the sausages. You've got to get the sausage, whether it's in a sandwich or a sausage plate. I mean, 
you just have to get sausage and yeah. everything. Well, there, folks, you got it. Another great show today. We put on a lot of weight <laughs> for you. And uh, we're again, we're givers, right? So until next week, I hope you have a, some great journeys out there of finding new restaurants. And, you know, we try the food here. Yes. And at the other restaurant, it's your turn now. So until next week, we could have Gallon Borgen. And Trisha Jansen. Happy eating, everybody. Let's, Let's dine, dine out. out. Captioning for the Let's Dine Out show provided by Holiday Cafe, your neighborhood diner with two locations in Ontario and Mr. D's Diner in Laverne. Ready to satisfy your hunger and budget? Let's Dine Out is made possible by support from Food for Life Baking Company, makers of over 60 organic, all-natural sprouted baked goods, as well as gluten-free and vegan products. Food for Life Baking Company, dedicated to better health since 1964. Foodforlife.com Sanborn's Air Conditioning and Heating, providing installation, maintenance, and repair of heating and air conditioning systems for home and businesses throughout the Inland Empire. Sanborn's Air Conditioning and Heating, five-star comfort for four generations. Sanbornsac.com. And viewers like you, supporting local public television. Thank you.